Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Hello there, everyone, and welcome again to the podcast. I'm Rachel, joined as always by my delightfully clever co-host, Matt. Um, yes, that's me. Hi. <laughs> and this is, you guessed it, the coolest stuff on the planet. It certainly is. And speaking of cool stuff, why don't we talk about our destination? Palenque. I understand you've been to this place? I have. Um, I spent about a year abroad in Mexico, and Palenque was one of the places I was fortunate enough to visit. Ah, so you're going to be our expert for the day? Well, I wouldn't say expert, but I do know a little bit about the place, and I have souvenirs. Oh, brilliant. Well, I certainly hope tiny plastic things will help us on our journey today. They shall. All right. So let's talk about Palenque. Uh, It's an ancient city, a Mayan city, located in the lovely southern state of Chiapas in Mexico. And um, Palenque got its start around 100 BC as a farming community, Um, but it really became a big uh, city-state around 600 to 800 AD. That was when it flourished. Okay, nice. And it was ruled by a series of powerful kings. Oh yeah, the most famous of one of these, or one of these kings, the most famous one, was Pakal the Great. Pakal the Great. And he rose to power in 615 AD. At the tender, I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't want to say tender, at the young age of 12. And um, he actually ruled until he was about 80 years old, so which is quite old for those days. Yes, from 12 to 80, that guy had some experience. So Pakal and his progeny were, they're the most powerful dynasty in, in Palenque. They had a huge hand in shaping it, uh, all like its architecture, its art, especially Pakal himself. Mm-hmm. And in fact, Palenque is famous for its um, epigraphs or engraved inscriptions, yes. which pretty much detailed the dynastic history of the city. And um, there's also a lot of really amazing architecture and artwork, um, but Palenque is probably most famous for its inscriptions. Oh yeah, they're super cool. I've seen lots of videos uh, with this stuff. I haven't actually been there, I, I confess, but I have looked at many a picture and just oogled at the awesomeness. Oh, hey, by the way, the only indigenous written language, actually, of the Americas is this Mayan hieroglyphs, which is kind of cool. That is cool. Okay, so let's talk about Pakal's tomb. Uh, So the Temple of Inscriptions was built to be his funerary temple, and in 1952, a Mexican archaeologist actually discovered a secret passageway, which is awesome, inside the temple that led down to his tomb. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. This tomb, uh, and the tomb was full of cool stuff. Um, Oh, yeah. From the uh, elaborately carved sarcophagus lid, um to Pakal's, uh, he had a jade death mask and other jade jewelry, yeah. like earrings and, and, all that green. and yeah. That's super cool. Well, another cool color is red. Check this out. Uh, another tomb was discovered in 1994 at a nearby temple in Palenque. A female body covered in finery and red cinnabar, which is mercury sulfide, by the way, or vermilion. Wow, impressive. And, yes, very cool. So she's covered in this red stone, basically, and guess what her moniker is? Um, it's the Red Queen. Of awesome. Course. And to this day, her identity, by the way, is debated. So, not really sure who she is. Right. Um, some of the main theories are that she might be Pakal's wife. She might be his mother. Yeah. And if you're interested in the Red Queen or uh, other stuff like that, you can you can check out more information on HowStuffWorks.com. Very good stuff. Lots of good videos on there. Mm-hmm. And uh, speaking of archaeological discoveries, uh, let's talk a little bit about the structures that have been uncovered. Um, after um, about a couple hundred years of study, only about 5% of the site has been excavated. Seriously? 5%? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, I imagine how much more there is to be found, Rachel. But are there all kinds of famous structures that have been uncovered? Uh, temple inscriptions, of course, the palace, a uh, huge complex of galleries and courtyards, corridors, just all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. And the palace actually was believed to have been an important administrative center. Yeah. It has a famous um, observatory, which may have been a lookout tower or maybe an astronomical vantage point. And also, did you know, this is very cool, that um, a stream of water actually was tunneled under the palace to bring running water to the city. Oh, awesome. So they had a form of aqueduct kind of thing. Yeah, essentially plumbing of a sort. That's so cool. A few more really cool things to check out at Palenque include the Temple of the Crosses group. Uh, That's actually, I think, three temples that are uh, grouped together. And then, like, the Temple of the Skull is really cool. Mm -hmm, Because it has, um, it got its name from, there's actually, like, a bas-relief sculpture of a rabbit skull on one of the pillars. Yes. Well... There's a ton of stuff we can mention about this place. The glyphs, you know, we're talking about sounds. We could go further into that. 
uh, the stone carving that looks like an ancient astronaut, which is my favorite thing, but it's okay, we'll go into it later. Uh, unfortunately, it's all the time we have, isn't it? That's right. But if you are dying to know more about Palenque, the Maya, or the Red Queen, um, head to HowStuffWorks.com to check out some really awesome articles and videos. Yeah, sounds good. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travelpodcast at HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes. <laughs>